Hi, welcome to Team Woolly Sheep Reviews. Crimp in. You want to make your own leads up? You want to buy a crimper? You need a crimper. There's different crimpers. Oh my god, what crimpers do I need to buy? What is a crimp? This is a strip of crimps. Right, so each one of these is a crimp. They're held together on a on a strip of metal, which you snap one off. So when you want to use a crimp, you basically snap one off. Very small, but what you'll see is there's channels. So when you look at it, there's a U section. Like so. And that U section is extended and then it goes to another U section. And then the actual connection, depending on what type of crimp, that crimp is a is a male pin. So that's the actual gonna make the connection. But this is where the wire goes. Now you'll see these wings are designed to wrap around the cable but when you bear the cable you only bear a couple of millimeters so this is like a zoomed in version now so see there's the cable and I'll I'll do it such so there's the PVC insulation of the cable and there's the strands which you've exposed of copper so that PVC will go into this area and these will go into that area and when they crimp they will actually crimp like that like a little heart so the cable will be trapped and the same with the wire they they will crimp down onto the wire so the, the strands of the wire will be in there and these crimps come down and it actually forms a a circle and comes in on itself so the reason that there's two this holds the installation the PVC the outer sheath and that does actually the electrical connection there not there so how to do that then well these jaws have got different sizes to suit the different size crimps you haven't got to get do anything complicated to measure it what you can do you can offer up the crimp in into the until you find it fits into one quite snugly Obviously, you're looking at the, the the recess, and you hold it lightly, and then you what you'll do is put the the wire in and squeeze it. Better for me to show you, isn't it? So, like I said, you find out which one is fits in best, and you hold it lightly, and then you introduce the wire into the crimp. Like I said, they do. There's two two crimps you're going to do with this particular type. There's two crimps, one for the wire, and one for the insulation. And they will be different sizes because obviously the wire is thinner without the insulation. So you just offer it up, put the wire in, and the crimp is ready. And all I do is squeeze it. When I look at that joint now, you'll see that the, the wire, the insulation has not been crimped, only the wire. And you'll see that it's actually, like I said, it crimps in onto the wire like that and traps the wire so the crimp is starts off like that and as you squeeze the crimper it, it, it forces the, the the wings around and then they come in crimp into the wire so they're holding the wire gripped in like that so it's a good idea to sometimes twist the cable as well so as it comes in it, it grabs multiple strands and then you need to do the the outer wing which is the insulation so you find the one that best fits the insulation and you do the same Hopefully we'll be able to see it actually crimped into the wire, into the PVC. Right, so this this crimper, it's got lots of lots of different options for different sizes, but you have to do them one at a time, which is okay. This this is actually a ridiculously expensive set of crimpers. There's no power, there's no ratchet, it is literally you, just you a strength of your hands. They're very small plugs, they don't need a big compressive power. So this is made in Japan, very good quality, very expensive. They've got interchangeable jaws, so you can change the jaws and actually for different sizes. 
These are called engineer crimpers. So if you want to do really, really fine plugs and you've got steady hands, you could use this quite comfortably to do it. They're very small plugs. So they've got this one. Now this one's got lots of power, lots of things. It's got a ratchet action, but this one is, is different. And it's different because you can see the thickness of these jaws is a lot, lot bigger. But this will actually do both at the same time. Right, so I'm using this crimper. So I'm gonna put the crimp into position and just close the jaws so it's just biting on it. So you can see the crimp is in the jaws. It's just gripping in there. So I've trimmed back the wire. I'm giving it about three mil. I'm going to position the wire into the crimp. And I'm gonna make sure the insulation goes in only two and a half mil, three mil. And then I crimp, squeeze it and crimp it. When I finish then you can see that in one action it's crimped both of them. It's both the wire and the insulation and it's pinned the insulation quite nice. So I put the crimp in the jaws and just lined it so it's flush there. I bed off the wire and twisted it. And this is this is the important bit, this is the crucial bit because you want it to bite onto the insula insu insulation. So you put the wire in and then you put a little bit more effort put the insulation in only a couple of millimeters and then squeeze it you can see this one's crimped putting the wire in and I obviously the insulation is going in so I push it push it so the insulation goes in and then crimp it you can see the insulation's in the crimp and the wires in the crimp now because I'm doing the male plug it comes with a standard female plug which is the same as that end and then it comes with a shroud to make it into a male end so you need to know which way they go in it'll only lock in one direct one way so I know the red is in the middle so I can quite comfortably put the red in the middle and pull it into place and it actually locks in if you look the 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 orange is on the left so if I if I put the orange on the left the same and the brown on the right and now it's the same as that but obviously it's the, the male version and then to finish it finish it off there's a shroud that clips on now these are, are a bit tricky because they only go on one way so you've got to have a look to see which way the, the lock is there's a little lock inside which you can't quite see and I know that's right now so that is making a servo plug up so do, two different types of crimpers if I said this was a hundred pounds and this was 20 pounds, would you go out and spend hundred pounds to have that? Or would you buy that? I got this when it was on offer and it was considerably cheaper. Like I said, for your servo plugs, this is perfect. Intricate ones, then this is, this is handy because you can do the individual crimps, but it takes longer and it's more clumsy. I prefer this one is one I had before that one, so I got kind of used to doing it. But and that, ladies and gentlemen, is Crimping 101. So there's lots of people selling them. Get the ones with gold plating on. You can get cheap ones. These are cheap, believe me. But then you might see some are more expensive. And you think, why are they more expensive? Because they're gold plated. Get the gold-plated ones. They're not going to fail you. Oh, that was a little bit of a bit of a techie session, but what else are you going to do in lockdown? So keep safe, keep hygienically clean, wash those mitts, and don't touch your bits. See you soon. Thank you for watching Team Woolly Sheep reviews. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Bye.